Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Lana and Kobe. And today is Tuesday, January 11, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. Remember, warriors, to follow the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands with soap, and watch your physical distance. Did you know the yearbook is a piece of history? Really? It is a caption of the entire year. You are helping to take a snapshot of what happened during this school year for anyone to see. Once it is published, it lives on forever. Wow. Warriors, yearbooks are now on sale for $60. Make sure to order your yearbook before the prices go up. You can make your yearbook extra special by adding your names or pictures. Buy it online at www.johnstonsyearbook.com or give your cash or check to Ms. Harrison in room 703. If you are going to bring in a check, make sure it is payable to Booth Yearbook. Congratulations to the following Warriors who made the 8th grade basketball team. Trey Heaton, Brandon Ridley, Clarence Jackson, Tanish Gupta, Mark Smith, Colin Hacker, Chance Collins, Ben Wall, Kyle Morhefka, Max Nolan, Anthony Llewellyn, Joey Lehman, Yuri Ajay, Cole Herman, and Luke Ariston. Just a reminder that study hall is 7.30 to 8 in the Media Center if you want to kickstart your day in a productive way. Friday is Spirit Wear Day. Get caught wearing Spirit Wear on Fridays. You can order our Spirit Wear by going to the Booth website, Parent Resources, PTO, then click on the store on the top menu. Get caught wearing Spirit Wear. Don't forget, a warrior is always responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And now for the character lesson. Attention all 8th grade boys, McIntosh High School basketball tryouts will be on January 17th, 18th, and 19th at 5 p.m. Students who ride the bus must wear a mask that covers their mouth and nose for the duration of the bus ride. If a student does not comply with this mandate, disciplinary consequences will be issued. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Jackson and Tyler with a few words of wisdom. There's an old saying, the greater the man, the greater the curtain. Courtesy. We could also say the greater the woman, the greater the courtesy. What does being courteous have to do with being a great human being? To be courteous simply means to be considerate of others, to be respectful of others, and attentive to others. What kind of person is considerate, respectful, and attentive? Probably someone who understands that all human beings are part of a greater whole and that when you hurt others, you hurt yourself. Probably someone who understands that there is no greater act than an act of kindness. We believe that everyone of you has the potential to have a great today. Show off your greatness and be courteous to others. Well, something to think about. This is Tyler and Jackson. Make it a great day or well, not. The choice, the choice is, is always yours. yours. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Ari bringing you the weather for Tuesday, January 11, 2022. The high for today will be 48 degrees and the low will be 29 degrees with a 0% chance of rain. It may be too cold for recess today. Tomorrow, there will be a high of 50 degrees and a low of 32 degrees, with a 0% chance of rain. Have a great day, Warriors! Good morning, Warriors. This is Noah bringing the lunch menu for Tuesday, January 11, 2022. Your entree will be chicken tenders, steak sandwich, steamed broccoli, Great tomatoes and cucumber with light dressing. Your sides today will be seasoned cream fries or granny smooth apple. 
and always a choice of love. Have a great day, winners. Every day, we make choices about what we do. We choose what to eat, what to wear, and we make choices about the media we use. These choices affect how we feel. Some media choices make us feel happy, curious, or excited. Others make us feel loved. But some can make us scared, or stressed out, or even angry. So, what is media balance? It's about making healthy media choices. Thinking about what you choose, when you use it, and how much of it you consume. Then, thinking about how these choices make us feel knowing that sometimes the best media choice may be no media at all. Hey, where's your pass? Uh, I didn't get one. My teacher, she was busy. This is the second time I've caught you in the hall without a pass. Uh, Do we need to get Miss Comer? No, I, I don't, I'm, I'm okay, fine. Okay, go get a pass. Yes, ma'am.